Dear students, through this video, my intention is to introduce you to the world of functions in programming languages. Not only in C, all the programming languages will be using functions. A function can be defined as a group of statements that together perform a task. Okay, if you are setting a group of activities, you can put it as a function. So whenever you invoke that particular function, you will be getting the result by executing those set of instructions. So this is basically a part of something called as modular programming. Basically what we are doing is that we are dividing a larger program into smaller modules, smaller manageable modules. That is the important thing. Because if there are 100 lines of code in a program and if an error creeps in, it is very hard for us to debug that particular program. But if you are dividing this 100 lines of code into sets of say 25 lines and if you can spot that in the second 25 set there is an error so debugging becomes easy so there are a lot of advantages for modular programming so here we are going to explain the need and how the function works so we are trying to explain it using the very familiar screen this is basically an ATM display screen that you are going to find here you can see that there are different options available on the screen say transfer balance inquiry deposit money each button has got different functions to do okay so let's say we are using the transfer function on clicking the button transfer what happens is that you will have to enter some account number and the uh, amount that need to be transferred and uh, the screen will be asking you to enter the PIN number and on getting all these details the transfer will be happening in the back end. So the input you gave was the account number, amount and PIN. But instead of that if you are trying for balance inquiry, there you are going to give a different set of input. The input will be the account number which will be automatically read by inserting your ATM card and then you will be giving the PIN number and you are going to get the output. Similarly, if you are going for uh, withdraw money, the set of input are totally different. You will be giving the account number, PIN and the amount you want to withdraw. And in all these cases, the outputs are also different. In case of transfer, it will simply print something on the screen telling that the amount has been transferred or the transfer is successful. In case of balance inquiry, the screen will be printing the balance that is there in your account. If it's case of withdraw money, the balance is going to get printed on the screen. Along with that, the cash will be dispensed from the ATM machine. So the inputs are different and the outputs are different. And what is happening within that button click, the operation that is happening is different. So if we put everything as a single set of code and an error creeps in, I told you it's going to be very difficult to debug. But now we can see if I entered an amount 1000, what I got was 500. So we can definitely tell that the error is there in that withdraw money function. So only that need to be checked for error. So that's what basically happens when we go for mode lab programming. So each button over the screen represent different different functions. Now let's see how functions work in C program. So what we have here is the standard format or the syntax using which we can declare a function. A function has got basically three parts which is listed on the left hand side. The first one is function declaration, second function definition and third one is function call. And the syntax is given here. Okay return data type, space, function name, inside the parenthesis, the type of the data you are inputting, the parameter or the, uh, or the data, type to parameter, fine. And the second one is the function definition, where you are giving the same sentence as for function declaration, 
the only difference is that when you are defining a function you shouldn't be using semicolon at the end when it's declaration you need to use a semicolon if it's a definition you should not use a semicolon and under that you will be giving the body of the function what happens within the function will be specified here and then there is a function call okay so let's see with an example okay consider this case we are talking about function declaration we are talking about balance inquiry on that screen okay so first thing is return data type i know that when i am using the balance inquiry option i am not going to get a received or i am not going to get the cash so basically i am not getting anything back so we are giving the return data type as void which means that it won't be returning anything it will be simply displaying something on the screen so i kept it as void as the data type and the name is balance inquiry the function name and these are the different inputs okay if you are going for balance inquiry you require two input one is the account number of the card holder second one is the pin that he is entering okay only if you give these two parameters as the function input the function can operate and can give you the output okay so that is basically the function declaration with ends with a semicolon now we are going for function definition okay so again i wrote this thing that is void i am not expecting anything as a return balance inquiry is the name of function the inputs are account number and the pin number both are in digit data type and you can see here this is what is happening within the function so the body of the function is given within these two uh, curly brackets and it says that if there is a verification that is happening if verify account number pin equal to 1 okay here this is another function this function balance inquiry is calling another function okay so within this function it is calling another function that is verify which will be verifying this account number and pin number does they match if they match it will be giving an output as 1 if not it will be giving an output as 0 that is the basic logic we used here so if the account number and pin are verified and i got a value 1 which means they are okay then print the balance okay whatever the balance that is there in the account number will be printed on the screen if this is not matching i will be getting some other value or maybe zero as a return from the verify which means that the credentials are wrong so it will be printing wrong credentials so this is what is happening in the function so function definition is the place or the location where we will be specifying the operations to be done to the input data to get the output data okay so the input data is processed to give the expected output within the function definition and this is a function call when this function should be executed that's what is basically the function call it should be executed when the user is clicking the button or pressing the button balance inquiry so on the instant when the user is pressing the button balance inquiry a command will be created and it will be executed that is basically the function call so balance underscore inquiry which is the name of the function and it will be passing the required input so one is the account number so instead of this will be having the account number and the pin number so this account number and pin number will be going into this function okay so function declaration is here function definition is here so here we have account number and the pin number so now what happens is that when the user enters uh, or user clicks the button balance inquiry it will be going here in this place this will be coming in this place this will be coming and it will be go using these processes and will be key being you the output so that's what is happening in the function now let's see another function here we were not expecting anything in return only what we require is the balance to be printed on the screen now we are going for the second case that is we are going for the withdraw money button okay so the user is clicking on the button withdraw money so 
it is the function call okay now let's see how it is defined so it is declared first so the return data type i have given as cache i know that there is no data type in c which is called as cache i'm just imagining that there is a return type which can be called as cache okay this is a general example what i'm telling you to understand the concept of function this is not basically the c tag what i'm using here okay so i'm considering cache as a return data type if there is some value in cache that much amount will be dispensed from the atm that's basically this cache data type the one which i coined right now so the data type is cache the function name is withdraw and we require these many input account number pin number and the amount so i'm giving different uh, um data type for that also account number as an integer pin number as an integer the amount as a float okay and here we can see the definition so what happens here is that it will be verifying the account number against pin if they matches then only it will be going for the next process or else there itself it will say that wrong credentials if this condition is satisfied then it will go inside this loop and it will check the next function this check underscore balance is also another function for which we'll be giving the account number and the amount so what it basically does is it will check whether the account number has the required amount to be dispensed whether it is available or not if it is available it will return 1 or else it will return a value 0 if the amount is available then the balance will be printed and the return okay and the return will be the amount what the user has entered else it should print not sufficient balance okay and it comes here return 0 okay if the amount is available return amount if the amount is not available it will be returning zero and why we use return here but when we were working here we didn't use return we didn't use return because we were not expecting any value to be returned it was data type void when we don't want anything to be returned from a program or a function we can give it as void data type here i have given cache which basically means that that much money will be dispensed by the atm okay so this is the function that is happening there and you can see the function call on the click of the button withdraw and the account number pin number and amount so these three input data will be sent to the function and the function processes these three input values and gives the appropriate output okay so this is what basically a function does now detail videos of this is available how we should declare different values how the function can be created all these things can has got many good videos in youtube which i can share with you okay thank you